it's a very good approach because anyone who'd see that um, can then t tell the police about it. I know I would if I knew anyone there. I'll tell the police about it. But so it's, it's a good approach. Look, you can see the crowds are there. They're actually having a look to see if they recognise anyone. And if they do, I'm sure they'll tell the police. Yeah, Definitely. I think so. Definitely. They need dealing with, yeah. But what will they get if they're under age? They'll get nothing. There's no deterrent at all for the kids today. There should be a Borstal school for the under under age and the others over age, then they should go to prison, definitely. Well, we are anyway. Cheers. All right. Well, you had to give an interview now. Sorry? Well, you had to give an The purpose of today's TV images is to ensure that we get the people who have committed these offences and brought to justice. What we're trying to do is to ensure that the public who know who these people are, who've committed the acts of mindless violence and, and damage and criminality within our city, are held to, to account and brought to justice. So far as part of the disorder, we've had 445 people arrested, which is a significant amount of people in relation to what's gone on over the last few days. But we're really clear that we're providing a really robust policing stance, and this is one of the elements that's supporting that issue. The people shown on the screen are suspects involved in the disorder. We've got a great deal of CCTV. There's some excellent images, and we want to identify them so we can speak to them about their involvement in those offences.